Hello, we are going to walk you through the use of the utilities tool for the smart plastic card printers. The utilities tool is located on the CD that you've received with your printer. We're going to open the CD, we're going to double click on the utilities folder, and then the application we're going to talk about today is called Card Printer Setup. Once you open the application, you'll be prompted for a password. The default is no password. So please click OK, and this will take you into the application. And then you should have a printer connected to your PC already. So what the application will do is we'll call that PC to find out the statistics on it. And you'll be able to see the firmware, serial numbers, and then you'll be able to see the current start positions for printing and then also the optical density positions or settings. If you want to change your password, your root administrator password or your user password, you can do that with these two buttons. And then you notice also that there's a laminator tab because we have a 50L connected to the application today. The laminator tab will again talk about serial numbers, firmware versions, It'll tell you what kind of materials in the machine, how much is remaining, and then I'll also let you know what the default temperature is for laminating. We'll go back to card printer side again. And what we do recommend is that when you open this application up for the first time is that you save the current configuration or the factory default to a file and save that on a location that you can find as needed. Uh, that way if you begin to change some settings, you kind of don't remember where the factory default was, you can always go back and load that file to get that back to the factory default. Also, the other cool thing about these files is that you can set one printer up, save that configuration to a file, and then upload it to multiple printers in the field. So you're really only having to make changes to one printer. On the right side of the screen, as we expand it, you'll see a number of options. In the upper right corner, you've got to change your printer ID. If you've had multiple printers on a network or multiple printers on a USB bus, you can change the ID of each individual printer so you can send jobs to it specifically. You can change the print head, and to do that, you would physically change the print head in the printer, and then you would go into this setting and you would type in the serial number and the resistor head number that's printed on the print head into this setting. You also notice that there's a button here for reset user issue count. And we'll say yes, we do want to reset the user issue count and I'll talk about that in a second. You'll see two sets of tables here. One is total issue count and the other is user issue count. Total issue count is the total number of prints or IC chips or mag encodes that have been done on this machine. The user issue count is the number of, again, prints, mag encodes, or chip encodes that have done on, done on this machine since the last print head change. So the only way that you can change this user issue count is to change a print head, and the total issue count will never change. One of the helpful things is that even if you do change a print head, we will save the cleaning count because you are reminded about every 1,000 prints to, to clean the printer. So even though you change a print head, you'll still have that cleaning count setting there. So you'll be reminded shortly to, to clean your printer. If you do want to clean the, if you do want to change that setting and turn the clean warning off. You can do that down here by turning that off. The functions in the middle of the screen here, I do not recommend that you that you change or that you play with. These are uh, stepper motor settings and other more technical issues that I don't believe that a standard user should be playing with. The function for mag write mode is handy. It allows for the default setting of magnetic encoding, whether it be low-co or high-co, or whether you want to encode all three tracks at once or one track at a time. 
We have some security options down here. The PC authentication is probably the most helpful. You can lock your printer to a specific PC. And then if somebody steals your printer and tries to connect it and print using a different PC, the printer will not work. That's probably one of the most useful tools that we have in this, in, uh, in this security section. Then we've got some other simple things like the card out. Default is the card goes in from the hopper and then out and underneath the hopper in the front. You can change that default to the back if you'd like. Also for the error card out, you can change it to the front or the back. Now again, most of these tools are very basic and they're things that you probably will use once or twice in the printer's life. We do have a longer training course available and there is a utilities manual available on the CD for more details. We appreciate your time today. If you have any questions, please contact us at idppartners.com.